What's up guys? So we've brought you to a really special place this afternoon. We've brought you to Richard III's castle at Midlam in Yorkshire. Now this is the castle where we grew up as a boy. I'm going to show you around. So this was his family home when he was growing up with his two brothers, Edward and George. And it's funny that it was owned by what's it called? That, uh, what was his name? Neville. He was the Duke of, uh, of Warwick. The Duke of Warwick? And he was the one who like, basically made different things. He put his behind the king. He would, uh, yeah. Tell your piece of history yeah. to the camera. Yeah, I can't think of, I can't think of his Neville. name. The Neville family were basically known as kingmakers. And if you had him behind you, Or he put, he put it behind you, so... Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to run the EMF meter and if we get any activity, we'll do what we usually do, we'll stop and do a little paranormal in that area. Oh, do you want to run Spirit Talker? Yeah. So, um, Richard the Third had two brothers, George and Edward. Edward, the eldest brother, was the one who was supposed to become king. And Edward, the eldest brother, was the one who had the two princes that ended up in the Tower of London. George, the middle brother, he was a bit of a usurper. He turned against the family and he eventually ended up being drunk, disorderly, and the family actually drowned him in a barrel of uh, wine to kill him off. Edward died in battle. Richard III then became in charge. Okay, so just give it a minute and see if we get anything then. Are there any Plantagenets here, please, related to Richard III? Is Edward or George? Or any of the other family members here? There's still a lot of speculation about the twins, in the, the brothers in the Tower of London. What happened to them? Were you behind it? Or were the Tudor family responsible for that? Does it say settlement? Well, did the lady just tell us it was a, Rome, a Norman settlement at first, before the Plantagenet? Settlement. Ro a Norman settlement. Yeah. It was a Norman settlement, she said, yeah. because um, the Plantagenet family. Where well, are you getting activity now? There's literally, it's all ruins, so there's no electric going through this anyway. No, there's none. There's none. Even if Who's here, please? Would you like to give us your name? Oh, yeah, it is. It's going like mad. It's not that. It's not that. Okay, so oh, are there interesting. any... Hmm. Are there any Plantagenets here? Edward or George or Richard? Yeah, it's flashing again, isn't it? If one of you are here, would you like to give us your name, please, through the Spirit Talker? Yeah, because it's on a... It's very it's, active. It's right? stopping and starting. Yeah. It cannot be electricity, and it's not... It's no, not it can't be. So this would have been, like, probably... A teenager. Teenager. Yeah, well, he would have lived here till he was a young man, Richard III. Yeah. So who's the teenager? What's your name, please? Can you give us some clue who you are? There are many, many people attached to this family story. The Plantagenets, Richard III's family, were... Yeah, it's every time we mention the family name, Plantagenet, isn't it? So they owned the whole of York and Yorkshire. Those are not ghostly horse hooves. Those are people outside riding by. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget where it's the daytime now. It's not the middle of the night. Your phone? Yeah. Phone. No, it won't, will it? All right, so we've got some activity in here. This looked like it would have been a main entrance hall or something, doesn't it? Like a fireplace there and that. Yeah. All right, come on, should we go that way then? See, what, yeah. see as much as we can. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this was Richard III's home when he was growing up, guys. This is where he started his life. He probably was even born here, to be fair. Let's have a look what's through here. Let's just go and explore and see what we can find. Steps going up to... It's very dark in there. All right, shall we go around that side? Because those steps are flashing again, is it? Have you got anything to on Spirit Talk or any names? It's really flashing, isn't it? Now, there's no electric here anywhere. It's literally ruined. No, I know. I know. What do you know? What do you know? Has there some skullduggery gone on that hasn't been recorded in history? What happened to those brothers in the Tower of London? Those Plantagenet brothers that should have become king and second prince, first prince of England. Those brothers keep calling them twins because they're only a year apart and they're identical. Those two brothers. I'm standing around here. Ah, oh, we got the Plantagenet family around us now. Yeah, that's no, we're going not like supposed crazy. to be here. If we're not supposed to be here, stop it from flashing. Are we welcome, or do you want to kick us out? I don't I think that's the answer. Why did it stop? It stopped. But I said, are we welcome, or do you want to kick us out? So. If we're welcome here, keep it flashing. If we're not welcome, stop it. Welcome. So we're welcome. You know why? Because we're telling the story. You know why? Because I believe, personally, Richard III was innocent. He got blamed for stuff he didn't yeah, do. I I'm on his side. Know. That's why we're welcome here, because we're not coming in kicking off. Oh. We're coming in to tell the story as it Irish. really should. Irish. Irish? Would there have been any Irish attached to uh, this family? All I really can tell you about this Plantagenet family is that no. they were the... Um, Yorkshire royal family and their symbol was the white rose that's why we've still got the white rose of Yorkshire today and they were rivals of the Tudors which were the Lancashire family although they did originate in France and their symbol is the red rose and this is where you've got um, the red rose and the white rose the white rose of Yorkshire the red rose of Lancashire and the feud in the battles between them for who was to take control of England. So by rights, it really should still be Richard III's family that takes control of England. But the way the family line went, um, they lost it and it went to the Tudors instead, who originated from France really and they own Scotland, and they own Lancashire. Now look, this is an interesting bit here, whatever this is. Let's just go and find Andy, because he's running the EMF meter over there. We'll see if he's getting anything. Have you had any activity on that there? <coughs> really? Shall we go in here, because look at this room. I'm wondering if this he might have been a... He disguises himself. He disguises himself? Who disguises himself? It disguises himself, itself. Who? Who are we talking about here? You need to give us a name. You need to be... That is not who you are. Sir. Sir? Did it say sir? No, no. don't forget other no. people... No, but the people who were trying to talk to you, you would have to. Use something else. What did it say? Use something else. Right, so I'll use the EVP recorder then. Yeah. If they want to prefer that, they can probably talk to us and we can get the voices. Perhaps they don't like the phone. Look, it's still going like mad, that, isn't it, flashing? Do you want me to take it just in case it is the phone that's triggering it off? Just stop now. Let's just see. Oh, no, it's going again. Not even I think it's probably because it's got had so many people coming through it over the centuries, this place, isn't it? A lot of energy. Right, let's go. This looks That's like a bit of a kitchen or something, doesn't it, here? Because I can see a stone bake oven over there. So where they would have made the bread, probably. So let's come into the kitchen because this would have been an active area. 
see if we can get any, uh, yeah, because there's a fire grate there. That looks like an old stone bake oven to me, or some, I think, I'm not sure. I'm only going off other buildings that we've seen. And the colour of the brick too, you know, suggests that they've had, like, heat. You know, like a kitchen. If we go up to the keep. Do you want to go up to the keep? Well, um, you can talk to us better there. Yeah. Is that all right? Let's do that. Yeah, so as we're walking round, I'll try and give you a little bit more of the story. So, Edward the Fourth should have been the King of England, <coughs> died in battle. We're talking to them. We need to be sort of bowing down. You know what I mean? Do you, Richard the Third? Yeah, better not do it because it might offend. No, it's the winter of the world. It's is this a dagger I see before me? That was Lady Macbeth, were not it? Or was it Macbeth? I think it was Macbeth. Is this a dagger I see before me? Which way do you want to go? You lead the way, I'll just follow and try and get on with this story. Yeah. All right, so um, we're going up to the Castle Keep, which is up there. And then Ali's gonna run EVP, an EMF meter, and we'll see what we get. This is a great room, this. There would have been columns going up to the ceiling, probably. Does it show you the, the Great Tower? Oh yeah. I think this might actually. Yeah, let's it's run a bit of it in here. It? Yeah, it's going to be windy, I think. And we always lose sound when we get the wind, don't we? So they would have had grand banquets in here. The family would have been around and people visiting would have... They would have held big banquets and parties and things in here for the people. It would have been really grand back in its day. These shelves were probably for like wines. Or oh, they might have had candles and things. the windows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, put it in the alcove, it'll be quiet in there. You run the EVP and I'll have a walk around and see what uh, clues. They look like old steps going up. Sorry, on the same thing. Right, so, um, what happened with the uh, princes? Richard III was looking after those two boys because they were his nephews. The father had been killed, the father had been killed in battle. And a lot of people were plotting to take the throne from them because they were like 13 and 15. Tudors were definitely wanting to overthrow the two boys and take the throne for England. So although it's always been documented that Richard III had the boys put in the tower, which he did, he put those boys in a tower for safety. And it's come to light now that Henry Tudor, who wanted the throne of England, was responsible for the disappearance of those boys and not Richard III. Imagine growing up in this place. What it would have looked like back in the day, big fires big roaring fires and this stone would have heated up pretty quickly with fires like that. The lady who found uh, Richard III's body in Lan Leicester a few years ago, she felt she was drawn to that particular area and she didn't give up until she found this skeleton which had a curvature spine and she really believed that Richard III was innocent and she was hell-bent on proving, you know, clearing his name of any suspicion of the boys in the tower, the twins, the princes in the tower. And if anybody has an interest in that story, if you Google princes in the tower of London, the whole story of those two brothers will come up. And the theories put forward, was Richard III responsible or was he protecting them and was the Tudor family responsible? Now, I've read a lot of books 
on history and stuff. And I think eventually you make your own mind up, you know, because there is no concrete proof one way or the other. I personally believe that Richard III was innocent and was genuinely protecting those two brothers. And I do believe the Tudors had something to do with it so they could take the throne because the Battle of Bosworth in Leicester, when Henry Tudor, Henry VII, went head to head on horseback with Richard III and he s shot his uh, sword straight through Richard III, killed him. Richard III fell off the horse, died instantly. Henry Tudor took the crown and put it on his head and said, long live the King of England, and then the Tudors took over, then it was Henry VIII, then it was Elizabeth I. So I do really believe that was the end of the Plantagenet family. Now, historians have traced the Plantagenet family tree, and the descendant of Richard III is living in America and working as a wood carpenter. He has his own business, making wooden furniture. He would have been on the throne of England had things been different. See if Andy's had any activity. Servant. Servant. Seriously. See if you get it. Very, very quiet. I heard a whisper very quiet. I'd have to put it to my ear and listen. Well, there would be servants, wouldn't there? Is it going again now, that? So perhaps we've got a servant here, then. Servant. Servant. Oh, that's brilliant, that. So can you give us your name, please? forward and talk to us. Tell us about life at Midlow Castle. Back in the day when Edward, George and Richard were growing up. You can imagine them as boys, can't you? Fencing with wooden swords. That's the kitchen though, isn't it? Serving. It would have been serving. Yeah, because this would have been the grand banquet room, this, wouldn't it? So it would figure that the main kitchen would be here. Yeah, there would have been servants coming back and too. Serving food and all that, carrying big platters of roast dinners and things like yeah, the kitchens, choice cuts. Yeah, look at the well. So they would have drawn the water up from there. Yeah, but it would figure you would get like common people well, coming through. Why should they? Very quiet. When you hear it. I heard a whisper, but I couldn't make out yeah, what it said. It's, it's, it's very, very quiet. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. No, it's going again, isn't it? Okay, let's walk around and go to another area then. So this is the main kitchens which would have serviced the banquet hall over here, which would have been for like formal dinners, you know, big functions, when they've got important people coming to stay, things like that. Listen to the rest of it, but that's that's that was really clear. That yeah, I'll go. Do you want to go up then? Yeah, but yeah, it's clear. It's clear. Yeah, well, it would have been a busy place for servants, this because they would have been you know running around serving the guests and everything. All right, so we're going up the keep now. Are you still running EVP? No, I'm Are you still gonna wait till you get up there? I'm putting that on and I'll wait till. Alright, no worries. Yeah. Is it still going off though? It's been throughout, hasn't it really? So very it's very active. Insight. Insight. Inside. Inside into what exactly? Inside into what? Does this go all the way up, does it? Yeah, this? Up to the top. Yeah. 
Is the people up there? I think that's the flag flapping actually, because I heard it downstairs and I thought it was feet. Yeah. There's a flag flapping. But it's not the Plantagenet flag, I don't think. I think it's just a normal British one. The flags of England have changed over the years, guys. Plantagenet's had their own flag. Tudors had their own flag. What is that say? Oh, it's people. People up here. Do you want to go back down there? Because we don't want to get the people in the shop, do we? Jeremiah? That's an old man. But don't forget, this uh, was belonged to her family. Sort of 1700s, 1800s. That's going like mad now, though. So you could even be getting people from, um, you know, later on. Because Richard III was 1400s. It's got another like 600 years history after that, this place. The Great Hall. So that's the Great Hall down there, where we've just been. That's the, an aerial view of it, guys. So that would have been the Great Hall, the, where we've just been, the Banquet Hall. So uh, upstairs now, so let's have a look. Castle Keep area. I'm angry. Annie. Yeah, your grandma called Annie. <laughs> it won't she be her, wouldn't it? Yeah. She certainly wasn't angry. It depends what whose side she was on with this story, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll wait till the people have come down and then we'll go up there. I'll give you a view of the front door. This is the front door. That's the front door. So the lady was telling us in the shop that door was added on later by another family that bought this. And it was a very sort of distinctive door, very expensive and sort of like a showing off the prosperity and wealth. She said the original door would have had like a drawbridge going down over it. The I lady who works in the shop, she's like a guide as well. That mound over there? Yeah. That's where the original settlement was. The mound, where are we looking now? What, the trees? In between, between the trees. Oh right, let me zoom in. There you mean? So you think that was the original Norman it's settlement? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you could be right. Oh yeah, she did say something about that. The original settlement, the Normans when they first came to Britain, which was like going back to William the Conqueror, weren't it? Yeah. Era, long before Richard had died. Who was treated bad? Who was treated bad? Well, Richard III himself was treated bad, really because they really believed that he murdered those two princes in the tower and even Shakespeare kind of inclined to that way of thinking. I think that was more. And Shakespeare was responsible for writing all the plays and documenting some of the history of this family. Who, oh, Shakespeare? Yeah, but did it, was he, he wasn't always right, Shakespeare. No, no, I think. Because when he wrote um, Romeo and Juliet, he'd never been to Italy. And he described Italy and he got the flipping things all wrong of how Italy was supposed to look in them days. Because today's critics say there's no way that um, it would have looked like that in them days, no. Italy. No. So he'd gone and described things sort of more uh, that he'd seen in this country rather than what he'd seen anywhere else. Right, I think we'll go down here and have another explore. Because we've been up here now. It's a bit drafty and I think we're going to pick up a lot of like... Uh, you know, blowy wind sounds. That's the old moat round there, which would have protected the castle in the days. They always had a moat round so people couldn't get in. Let's go round that way and see what there is there, because we've not been there yet. So, yeah, it, Richard III grew up here. So the roses, the white rose is the symbol of Yorkshire. The red rose is a symbol of Lancashire, that's the Tudor rose. 
when Elizabeth I came onto the throne, she fused the two rows together. So if you see anywhere in England stained glass cathedrals with a white rose and a red rose together as one, she did that because she wanted peace. She'd had enough. She wanted peace. She'd seen her father Henry VIII with his six wives. She'd seen her own mother be beheaded. She'd seen all the battles and wars between Roman Catholic and Church of England. And she'd had enough. So when she came to the throne, she said, you know what, anyone can practice whatever religion they want under my rule. And the Tudor and Plantagenet roses will be put together. And that's exactly what she did. She'd seen enough of trouble in her lifetime. So she wanted to bring some peace. Standing around us. So I wonder where we are exactly in the uh, plan. Yeah, the castle Lord. Get out and leave. Oh, do you know what? This might have been the guards' quarters. You know where they let people in and out of the castle. That might be why they're saying get out and leave. Well, we're invited in. We'll come for a banquet actually, so we're going to stay. You have to physically throw us out, to push us, if you want us to leave. The baron and baroness of the valley. You have to really make it definite if you want us out of here. Got to do some definite thing. Do you want to run EVP again now and see if we get anything uh, angrily trying to remove us from the castle? Making noises. Make some noises now whilst we're here. Let's hear you. Let's hear the noises right now. Oh yeah, okay. It's like an old staircase, isn't it? I find staircase is active places because you remember Wally Abbey? Yeah. The first time we did it before we filmed it and we got the organ music, didn't we? Why do you want us to leave? No, we're not welcome. Do my talking to you. What time period are you from? Christy. Yeah, so this is an old staircase. So it's, it stops there, but it would have gone to the first floor probably back in the day. Did you hear a voice? Did you hear a voice or something? Oh really? Yeah, you can hear like a... You sure it's not birds? It's dangerous. Well, it would have been dangerous in them days. I can hear like a sigh, you know, like a heavy breathing. Right. 
River. Did I say river? Well, there would have been a river running around the mark. There would have been a river. Alright, oh, so maybe this was the guards' room or something because they're very reluctant to speak, yet they're very good to wanting to kick us out and clear us out of here. Yeah, I am stationed here. It's the guards' room. It has to be. Soldiers on duty, sentry duty, seeing who's coming in. It has to be, doesn't it? So, but that has to be soldiers, doesn't it? I'm stationed here. So they would have probably been positioned to look out and make sure there was nobody coming to invade. This was the mort that would have gone round, they dug it out and filled it with water. Well, what they would have done, they would have rooted the river down and filled it with water that way back in those days. Got to remember how things were in those days, it was different. Were these wells? They're like cellars, aren't they? <laughs> what did it say that Look one? below. Look below? Yeah, I was just looking below, actually. Somewhere you could go down. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just explore it. What's around the back of there? So for our overseas viewers, if ever you come to England to visit, you really must see some of these castles and some of the, you know, historical palaces and things that we still have. A lot of the stuff is down in London and down south. But when it comes to Richard III and Plantagenets, a lot of it is up the north of England, Yorkshire, where we are right now. And it's definitely worth a visit. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's not stopped flicker, it's flickering that, has it? So we're on the outer walls now, so look, there's some old bricked brick up doors and things there. And there's another turret there. Well, we told you we were going to do an abandoned explore, didn't we? But we didn't tell you it was going to be something of this majority. It's abandoned. Abandoned is abandoned. Abandoned with no farmers to kick us out. Yeah, but look at the tower though. There was a door here, Andy, look. And these thin windows here, were, they used to shoot the arrows out. The purpose of them were they could be on that side and shoot the arrow out, yet they were protected by the stone, so anybody firing arrows back, they was protected on the inside there. That's why you get the narrow windows in these uh, turret castles, you know. Uh, I think it's the same throughout Europe, castles really were designed pretty similar. I think that's what it is, we've got residual energy again, and I think that's that. Well, there will be a lot of that, because don't they say that a lot of it is recorded and contained in the stone itself? And this is Yorkshire stone. This colour of stone, this is Yorkshire stone, this. All the houses and farms, like there's a farm just there, they're all built out of this stone. They're all built out of this Yorkshire stone. It's quarried up here and it's just, everything's built from it. Good stone, it lasts. I think we'll go in that room there because we haven't been in there yet, but we're going to have to walk back round to get in it. So just to think that Richard III and his brothers, when they were young, would have been out here playing with wooden swords, practicing the fencing and stuff like that before they became older and then they had real responsibilities. I remember there's one story about the three of them riding on horseback through some field um, and this is where I think they might have had an alien encounter or a UFO sight in the three brothers, uh, Edward, George and Richard. They were um, riding on horseback through a field and they said they saw three suns in the sky, you know, three like bright shiny sun disks in the sky and it, they thought it represented them three as brothers. But thinking about it now today, did they see three UFOs? Was that three UFO disks that they'd seen?
I think a lot of dead don't rest because really, you think about it, right? When your life's finished, there's still plenty for you to do, do you want to do. So why would you go and rest if you can carry on in spirit world? Yeah. To be fair, I, if I can in spirit world, I'm going to carry on traveling. I'm going to carry on coming around abandoned buildings. I'm going to carry on going around historical. So who's to say that all other spirit people, why shouldn't they carry on doing what they love? If Why should they just, you know, if they like it and they enjoy it, why don't they, shouldn't they carry on in the spirit world to do their thing? And this is where I think you get ghosts coming from different eras. You know, you get like ghosts from the 1400s, the 1500s, and then later ghosts from the 1700s and 1800s, and even ghosts that have only been dead for 50 years or whatever, and they overlap. And... What's in there? Is it a well? Oh God, that's really flickering, isn't it? I mean, I'm nowhere near it. What's in here anyway? Do you think this was the old toilet? The old pit. Well, I mean, looking That's down here at the silage pit and everything. Oh. Not that we have any weird obsession with toilets, but... No, they must have had a toilet in a place this size. I mean, come on. Yeah. I can hear people... Oh, it's that flag. You know the flag flapping at the top? It yeah, sounds like yeah. feet. It's had me a couple of times that I'm thinking... It sounds like Frankenstein coming down the stone steps, doesn't it? And it's actually Wait. a flag flapping. I think this was the latrines. So we're actually in the toilet right now. So perhaps this was some kind of... I mean, they, did, they were big on Roman baths, weren't they? I know the Romans had the Roman baths, but then much later people continued that, didn't they? That bath bathing system. And it's very circular as though it could have been like... Perhaps a bathing area, I should think. Yeah, as on it. Yeah, maybe. Actually, yeah, oh, there's a hole up there, Luke. Maybe there's a chimney. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it probably was, actually. So you see, you know, if you study these buildings, guys, you can cope with your own clues. Sometimes. It's nice. Look at the stairs up there, just going and disappearing into thin air. So it would have been a lot higher up. This probably was about three floors, weren't it? Yeah. Originally. Alright, come here, sit down. Let's just listen to that EVP recorder now and see if we've picked anything up whilst we've been going round before we wrap it up. That's the flag flapping in the background, guys, that you can hear. Definitely a whisper. Definitely. I think he's a servant, yeah. Definitely a sister. I'm, I'm... It definitely says. Well, that's interesting coming from that area, the banquet the kitchen area. Yeah, it definitely says servant. Yeah. Without, so. without a doubt. So the residual energy is normally, it's like still here. It's like ghosts that don't disaster. communicate is residual, isn't it? Or there would have been disasters because... I do. I, I mean, personally... Battles, there was constantly a battle, this family, personally, against the Tudors. I do think that's why you get that actually. It's just people passing in and out. Yeah, yeah. I think a place this old, you're going to get different levels, aren't you, of spirit people coming through? You know, because, I mean, it'll go further back because 
this is going to get confusing now when I tell you this, but Richard III, the th before Richard III, there were three other brothers, and they were also called Edward, George and Richard. And then when they died, the next three brothers to be born were called Edward, George and Richard, and they tended to sort of keep the same family names going. So it can get very confusing, but this particular story, if you want to look it up, Google it, whatever, it's Edward IV, uh, George and Richard III were the three brothers that were responsible for going to battle with the Tudors. The Tudors won, Henry Tudor took the crown and Henry VII was then the King of England. But prior to that, the Tudors had been on the throne before the, th the Tudors had been on the throne, um, Henry the Fifth, Fourth, Henry the Fifth, Henry the Sixth were all Tudors, and then it went over to Richard Plantagenet um, first. <laughs> I'm coming in there now. Uh, you can Google all the history on it, anyways. But uh, it went between Tudors and Plantagenets for several centuries, and that's why these castles contain a lot of, you know, battle history and that kind of thing. Oh, this would have been. Richard III, um, Shakespeare lived in the 1500s, so he was writing that play, kind of, yeah. I don't know what it is. You're on privy. Then we'll leave you to it. It's probably where you'd stash your money, really, and pretend you've not got any when really you have. Today it's called a bank, but they probably used that back in them days. Yeah, so Richard, Edward, George and Richard. Edward, George and Richard. But before those three, there was Edward III, I'm by your side. Richard II okay. and George were all brothers. Spot on. Go on. Which side? Left or right? What did? What was the message? I'm by your side. That's what. Who, who is by on this side? Can you give us your name, please? Or what era? Which era you're from? So this would have belonged to the Plantagenets for a couple of centuries before Richard III was born. I think we're going back to 1200s, to be fair. Richard was in the 1400s. Can you tell me what this room was? I think we're going to wrap it up soon. We've shown you the whole of this castle at Middleham yeah. in Yorkshire. It's a beautiful part of England for our overseas visitors who come over here. If you get the chance to come up to this part of England, please come up and see York City. Come out here and see Midlam. And I would really recommend going further north and seeing Edinburgh and Inverness as well, if you get the chance, because they've got so much history, so many castles, uh, ruined ones like this, and also um, you know ones that are still preserved, and you can go in and see the history and it for me it brings the history to life when you can actually step into the building yeah of course it does, of course it does. Of course so it does. from our visit to richard iii's castle in york yorkshire middleham castle yorkshire we're going to say goodbye now and we'll see you next week at our next location and thanks for everyone for watching thanks to you our usa and canada australia new zealand and all our european um, viewers and thank you to all our subscribers and hi and thanks to everybody who knows us Subscribe. take care <laughs> and we'll and see like. you all soon bye